Dragon Ball and then go for something like the Braum because all you need to do is survive this bot lane matchup and you've got really good setup once you hit this like post six Maokai Braum. We can look for these mix to just try and push them off the spot side terror. Plans available for Hunt Summer if he walks back in. The Whirling Death is used to clear the wave as we're making reach maximum capacity topside. Yike and Broken Blade are now going to become a duo as Oduwame pushed this out. He has Ghost available, but Wind Becomes Lightning should tag him down. There's the Ghost looking for the knockup flash. Ulti jump back in. Broken Blade first blood. That's a big win for Giant X as well, because realistically, if they can take this one a little bit slow, find opportunities where maybe they don't have to go and aggress for every dragon, they're going to be in a good spot. Mickey will spot them out here. But yeah, I mean, the like, fact that Patrick and Iganar have had several moments where they pushed in a bot. We haven't seen them link up with Peach to try and get vision in that bot side jungle of G2. So it makes it easier for Peach to go, hey, Yike isn't here. I can actually go and clear my camps, but they want to fight. Right. Is this coordinated? This time a little bit more. CC chains up. Mickey X is taking the damage, though, as Caps jumps in the back line with Yike. I mean, G2 have already traded this off. It's a first kill for Giant X, but Jackie's now has to get out. Patrick has to get out. It's a cash in for Han Summer. And now running for his life, scared. It's Ignar with a flash out as well. Caps has got this lockdown in the bag. Jackie's, you're up next as he crashes away. G2 have just picked up four kills. Make that three, excuse me. Ooh, dear, and and now following through, I mean, Odo Amine has to get something, doesn't he? But Jackie's is about to die. He's burning down, flash away from Caps. In response from Giant X of what had been a bit of a disaster of a play when they went for that initial fight. But I'm looking at a dagger and I'm saying, at least you get the turret, that's good. But they're still down 3,000 gold Mickey, and a bit. Mickey. Are you so fine? Well, the level seven rails probably not. not. He's <laughs> just, just dead. They're trying to give it to Jackie. They do so successfully, and that is some gold back on. But again, is that BB about to get in a turret? Two. Yes. He just oh took dear tier lord, two. he's up two thousand gold. Under pressure. Again. Now, again, yeah, they're going. Caps is no flash. He is isolated as well. Nature's Grass going to get a double root down as Caps tries to get damage on his way out, but he's helped out. There's not enough damage to follow through on this mid laner of G2 as a Magnus Storm is in melee range. But look, GX going into a choke. They've got to shut down. That's a start, but the problem is Han Summer's now here. Whirling Death 2.0 gets get another catch, and as he runs on in, but going into melee probably ain't it. Hans just lets that lie, and I'm dagger. I'm just confused. What happened? BB didn't show up, so you had five members of Giant X that were in that position, whereas only four members of G2. BB will get the terror, but it'll be trade on the top side, so massive turnaround play for Giant X on that one. Just having those extra few people there, they're able to turn it around. BBE oh in this God. game. <laughs> and as he gets another inner turret, he is three four from G2. They lost a little bit in the progress of it. Never mind, Dagda, don't listen to me. It's happening, isn't it? I mean, it's a two item Jax. They want to try and play off of that. And Giant X, where are you going to go? Hansama has to walk up, though. Remember, as he engages there, Magnus Storm's great. BB with a triple stun as well. There's good CC, but they need the damage to get in as now. Hansama starts firing away. He's jumping in. Yike does the same. And BB, it's just that unstoppable, isn't he? No one's been able to walk up to him. No one's been able to talk to him. And Giant X is... But they do need to be careful of, like, the punch back here, because uh, you're kind of isolated uh, here. Yike, a little bit early there on the wind becomes lightning, still gets the engage onto Peach. She circles around and sets up that ulti as Peach tries to zone them out. BB is zoning for the time being as the engage from Yike continues again. Teleport was burned by Otto Abner to come in. His Broken Blade still tries to get the stun. Chain of Corruption now down from Patrick. Look at what Giant X just used, some big tools there to get into the fight as now the Whirling Death to poke them on the side as well. Caps is running into Jackie's, a dangerous prospect is now for Ignar the stand beside, gets him away and Broken Blade sends him afar. It's another great stun as nobody knows what to do when it comes to the Broken Blade Inquisition. Jackie's, he's going to be doing some damage, but he's still, alive. Also, he's still damn alive. You just can't stop him. Right there. Like, this isn't a win condition from us insofar as just denying it from you. And then Jackie's tries to make the play into Caps, but ends up just baiting the rest of his team in. And gank, and then BB just playing the map better. I mean, Broken Blade, when everyone was grouping around objectives or grouping around, actually achieving anything in the lanes, that it really hurt the game set for Giant X. So I feel like for G2, when Yike made a play on top to go, cool, I will move into the enemy jungle knowing there's no vision, but now GX in their own base. Desperate. Um, they can't do anything because Caps just nuked Patrick. Holy moly, I thought that was a whirling death to add in, but no, as BP just ignores Odo, aren't they? 
That's the Udi damage, and this is what happens when Udi doesn't get too <laughs> much in the game. Top four. 100 sky proc. He doesn't care. And his health is all back. Oh, it's miserable. G2 got to get top tower as well, and now Odo's got to abandon mid entirely because I think G2 might just try and collapse on it, but. I mean, there goes inhibitor. One more pick, Dag. This game's over. This game feels over right now. We know it. Is the only reason, realistically, G2 were able to come out of what was a bit of a messy early game, at least get Hansama some early kills as well. I think, yeah, that's an important point to note. Like, again, that one individual helps cement as we get an engage from Giant X in front of their base. They do find the pick onto Caps. That's a good start as Exhaust onto Yike might set up for another Bramble Smash. Slows things down, but the Whirling Death zones them out as Mickey X gets sent away. That was Jackie's ult as a flash from Yike. Saves him for the win despite the ring. Engage with the Magnus Storm. Mickey! Oh, damn you, fine! Broken Blade jumps into the back line. Well, Jackie's is doing a bit of work himself, but Mickey survives thanks to Yike. And Broken Blade makes sure no man is left standing in the rest of the fight. Triple kill. That'll become a quadra eventually. And Broken Blade, you beauty. If you don't get MVP, I won't be here next game. Everyone vote for Hans Hammer for MVP. Whoa, what? <laughs> but, uh, Broken Blade, absolutely take a bow. Fantastic performance. And G2 will be able to clean this one out against Giant X. How easy was that? As you said, a little bit messy at times. We know G2 for that in the regular season. But for BB, we see why this man is touted as one of the best in EU. At times like that, he is unbeatable. And for G2 at 5-1, now standing with Fnatic, you can say the same about them.